Law and order finally returning to college campuses after days of protests turning violent. And while most people would consider this, I guess, a good thing, some college administrators are actually getting backlash. It's at Columbia University, the place where, you know, all this pretty much mm -hmm. started. Their chapter of the American Association of University Professors is calling for a vote of no confidence wow. against the president. Okay, that's President Shafiq and others for calling police on students after they broke into and vandalized Hamilton Hall. You can't make this stuff up. This is just crazy. Um, they, in their statement, the AAUP wrote in part, Shafiq and others failed utterly to defend faculty and students and colluded in political, interfer political interference, you reckon, <laughs> uh, in the university at the House of Representatives subcommittee hearing, end quote. Uh, now, here to weigh in on all of this is the president of the Zionist Organization of America, Morton Klein. Mr Klein, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, do you think that the, the Columbia... AAUP uh, is going to be successful in outing, in ousting uh, Manush Shafiq and other top officials. This is an extraordinary request. <clears throat> uh, we are also at ZOA very unhappy with Shafiq for different reasons, because she has refused to expel students that are violating the law and violating the Columbia University policies, uh, and, and we're uh, angry at the board for not making it clear that Shafiq better change and uh, uh, get rid of these terrible students, or they'll fire her. But I, but I have to say something very important. Go for it. We have to understand where this came from. Iran, the terrorist dictatorship of Iran, is the country that funds Hamas and Hezbollah. They were on their backs in the last administration. They had almost no funds left because of sanctions by the last administration put on them. President Biden and Blinken and Obama behind the scenes have funded Iran to the tune of $26 billion, this terrorist regime, and ignored sanctions, allowing Iran to earn another 40 to 50 to $100 billion. This is the money they've used to fund Hamas and Hezbollah. Right. So we have to understand, the source of this is this administration, my administration of my country, funding Hamas terrorists uh, through, through Iran. Well, it's a great point. And I have to say... It's a great uh, point, the, because the, and, you, you look at the ahead. schools... Leadership, right? Leadership, whether it's the students mm -hmm. looking up to some of the radical fa faculty or whether it's the faculty looking up to what the administration is doing. More than school mm -hmm. officials are blaming all the outside agitators for starting a lot of the violence. Now, is this true? But first of all, what does that say about the schools? How are they, aren't they supposed to be able to keep their students safe and, and create an environment to keep outside agitators out if they wanted to. I mean, the whole thing here, the pushback is that they're complaining that they called the police in the first place. But isn't that what they should have done before this even got to the point of violence? Of course, this is violating U.S. law. Title VI of Civil Rights Acts requires universities to have a safe environment for all students, including Jews uh, specifically. <laughs> and of course, they should have brought in the uh, national troops or the police Immediately. Do you know, this is what Eisenhower did in 1957. When black students wanted to enter uh, uh, different universities in the country and they were being stopped by white racists, Eisenhower brought in 1,000 U.S. troops to protect these black students rightfully so they could go to school. Great Biden should be calling in the troops. The university should be calling in uh, the police. And let me tell you, say one other thing. <laughs> The problems with Shafiq and other presidents and Biden is they are not calling out specifically the horrible statements and chants of these students. Uh, they're calling for an intifada revolution, which which means kill all the Jews. Yeah. Right. They're calling for the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, meaning Israel shouldn't exist. Right. They're saying we are Hamas. If they were saying we are the Ku Klux Klan, would we be calling it out? It's the exact same thing. It is the exact same thing. I agree with you, um, Morton, and I'm really sorry that this is happening um, to Jewish, Jewish people across the country right now. It, it breaks my heart, um, and I, I really do hope it can only go up from here. Morton Klein, thank you so much for jo joining us. I thank really you. appreciate thank you coming you, on.